Hello, my name is Joseph Gentile, and I'm one of the authors of the Interactive Guide to the 2012 IBC. This guide is a companion document developed as a means for architects to apply the provisions of the International Building Code 2012 edition during their design process. It includes 256 interconnected illustrations that we believe have value not just to architects, but to interior designers, engineers, and contractors as well. The most broadly applicable provisions of the code are best applied early in the design process. The reason for this is the need to avoid time-consuming and costly redesign. Projects suffer when a building code requirement is overlooked until late on and highly detailed aspects of the design have to be reworked. Towards this end, the interactive guide provides checklists and supporting sets of illustrations that are broken out into categories that work through the code requirements from the largest design decisions to smaller ones. You can see these categories along the bottom of this welcome page and in the table of contents. So starting at the table of contents, we can look at an example of how to use a checklist. In this case, I'm going to hit the link to the materials checklist. Looking at item one here, the checklist is telling us that the design team needs to select a construction type for the building. The applicable code sections are provided as well as a link to an illustrated page with information related to this checklist item. This page has an illustration that conveys the definition of the term construction type, as well as some related notes and reminders. Wherever you see blue text in this document, you are looking at a link to more detail or an explanation of the text. If I click on Type 5A, I'm taken to an illustrated page explaining that construction type. Type 5A construction is characterized by combustible materials, frequently dimensional lumber, and specific elements are required to have a fire resistance rating as shown in this table. One such element is primary structural frame, and it's also in blue text. So you can see how we are interconnecting ideas without a lot of searching or having to know in advance where to find more detail or related materials. This shows how to determine if a member is primary structural frame or if it is categorized as a secondary member. There are also links to more detailed information about requirements and opportunities that might not be apparent from just looking at the building code itself. In this case, it can be possible to omit fire resistance from specific secondary members based on their height above the floor below. Navigation buttons are provided so you can always move back through the document to revisit previously viewed information or return to the table of contents. Another checklist and set of illustrations is entitled Building Organization, and it relates to requirements that inform decisions about placing the building on a site and arranging the components of the building. This time I'm going to skip the checklist and start on the first illustrated page. Each of the seven chapters starts with an illustrated page that lays out the content of the chapter. From here, we can look into fire department access requirements that might affect how the site is organized, or requirements for restroom locations that have a role in developing the floor plan. As before, when we provide blue text, either in the illustration or in the group of associated images below, it is a link to related ideas. One thing we do in this document is to combine requirements scattered throughout the building code or reference standards when they relate to the same aspect of the design. Accessibility requirements and egress requirements both have a role in the minimum spacing around doors, and instead of being in separate chapters of the building code, the information is presented simultaneously in this image. The document includes some how-to-use pages calling out the features and types of information provided. There are also a number of ways to navigate this document, including bookmarks, the search function of the Adobe software, and an index. Our hope is that you will find this useful and that it will enable your design team to spend less time checking for code compliance and more time designing great buildings.